hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a little bit different. I decided to share with you guys a recipe that I found using my new pressure cooker from Kosori. And I've had a lot of you ask me to do more cook with me videos, so I am here doing that for you. Right now I am just getting all of my supplies out and ready so that I don't have to be running back and forth. And yeah, so we are going to be cooking chicken tikka masala today. Okay, so this recipe calls for one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts um, chopped up into bite-sized pieces, so that's what I'm doing here. I am one of those who has to trim all of the yucky fat off of my chicken, and if you don't like seeing raw meat, I'm very sorry. I don't really love touching raw meat, hence the fork. But yeah, so I'm just going to be cutting up my chicken into cube-sized pieces. In time we cease infinity Okay, here I am starting to make the marinade. You have to marinate the chicken for at least an hour in the refrigerator. Um, the marinade calls for one cup of plain 2% fat Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of garam ma masala, which is a new spice I had never heard of, but I found it in the grocery store with all the spices. One tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. So that's what I'm doing here. I am just measuring out and putting all the ingredients together to make our marinade. So free in time we cease And you'll be going strong And I know there is a reason Now we're ready to be home Yeah, ready to be home Okay, now this is the fun part. I was actually sent this pressure cooker by Kosori. Um, I had been hearing so many things about pressure cookers and um, like specifically the Instapot and I really didn't know there was anything else out there until they reached out to me and they offered me their six quart pressure cooker. Um, they kind of sold me when they told me it makes everything from like yogurt to like being able to cook frozen chicken in 15 minutes or less. Um, so this was my first time opening it. It is a huge item. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but I was pleasantly surprised and so thankful that they reached out to me. This is just me unboxing and getting it all set up for you. And I'm going to show you everything that it came with, including all of the tools and the recipe book and the um, manual. So to open the lid, you just twist and pull. And I thought that was really neat. I'm used to my rice cooker where you just like press a button and lift the lid up and it's still connected. But there was a lot of stuff inside. There was an extra silicone ring for the lid, um, some like serving tools. The first tool was this rice ladle. Next we had this regular soup ladle. This little guy, he collects the uh, water residue from the steam. Then we had a rice cup. This guy here is used for steaming vegetables and other things while cooking something else. And then this guy actually is what you cook all your food in. The Kosori pressure cooker also comes with a recipe book, which I thought was super helpful because when I first got it, I had no idea what to cook in it. 
While our chicken is marinating in the refrigerator, we are going to go ahead and make this sauce for the whole recipe. Um, it calls for 15 ounces of canned tomato sauce or puree, 5 cloves of garlic, minced, 4 teaspoons of garam masala, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, and one cup of heavy whipping cream added at the very last minute. <music> Now the recipe I was following didn't actually call for red peppers, but how are you going to have this recipe without them? So I decided to go ahead and cut up some red peppers to add to my chicken tikka masala. Okay, at this point my chicken had been marinating for over an hour, so I ran to the refrigerator and pulled it out so that we could move on to the next step in this recipe. So for this next part, you are going to select the saute mode on your pressure cooker for medium heat. When it's reached the temperature, you just add the chicken chunks uh, to the pressure cooker, saute until the chicken is cooked on all sides, which should take about five minutes, stirring occasionally, and then you are going to turn off the saute mode. After you are done sauteing your chicken, you are going to add all of the sauce ingredients except for your cream to the pressure cooker over your chicken and stir it all together. Then you're going to secure and seal the lid, select the manual mode to cook for 10 minutes at a high pressure. After you're done with that 10 minutes, you're going to use your quick steam release handle to release the pressure. Once the pressure is done being released, you are going to select the saute mode on the pressure cooker for low heat. When it's reached the right temperature, add cream to your pot, stirring with the other ingredients. Simmer until the sauce is thickened to your liking, which should only take a few minutes. This dish can be served with rice or naan. Um, and then the typical topping is fresh cilantro, but I decided to spice things up a little bit, quite literally. <laughs> I added green onion, fresh chopped jalapeno, and cilantro to top off this dish, and it was amazing. All right, this is where I leave you guys. I served my recipe with a jasmine rice, and I did end up burning the bejesus out of my hand when I scooped this tikka masala into this bowl, so be aware that it's going to be extremely, extremely hot. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and I can't wait to do more of these for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you, Kosori, for sending me this awesome pressure cooker, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! And I'll